right guys, so now the uh, shenanigans are over, I got a special treat. So not only did I just get one new Super X suit, but I got two. Um, so this is the Wayne Season 4, so I'm a little late to the draw on this one. I got some of the leftovers um, after all the pre-orders went out. And then I ordered the Castle, because first summer suit by Super X, so I had to get it. Uh, plus, I love black and white color schemes. Uh, shocker, I don't go for <laughs> too much color. But, um, yeah, it came way early. I thought the castle wasn't supposed to ship out until like the middle of July. Here it is, June 30th, and I got both the Wayne and the castle. So, awesome. Um, so, first thing that I'm going to say about both of these, I'm going to start with the Wayne and then uh, move on to the castle, is Super X, you guys keep. Uh, improving your quality. Like the feel of the suits, there's just something about the stitching, the material, it's just so much more sleek, so nice, like it, it really becomes, it's become something special uh, since my first piece of clothing that I bought from you guys way back with the, uh, the Murdoch hoodie, um, when it was just the hoodie, no joggers or anything, when it was, I guess it was the second time you guys put it out to where it is now, like every suit just keeps feeling better and better, gets more gads gadgets, gizmos, bonuses onto it, so keep rocking it. Um, my poor bank account, oh my god. So let's dig in. I'm going to talk about the hoodie first, so then I can get this thing off. Uh, so if, for those of you that do know, I just moved to South Carolina, so I'm adjusting to the new temperatures. Uh, it's not that bad, but it is a little warm to be wearing a hoodie. I would, I would be wearing this if it was the same temperature back in my home state of West Virginia. So, um, hoodie. First off, super cool design. With the stitching, one, I love any of the stitching that makes it feel like armor. It just makes you feel powerful. But then the sleeves also make you feel like armor, right? This feels like forearm guards. You've got these nice arm zippers. Um, I literally have no idea what I would keep in there. Maybe my phone. Uh, these are always things that I appreciate having and that I never use, but I love that they're there. If anything, they just look cool. Even the inside of the forearm, though, has nice stitching, uh, which then adds into the, like, this is a forearm guard feel, because then this feels like the strap's going across your arm, so you're like, ah! Um, and then the stitching up here feels like you got nice, like, shoulder pads going on. Um, obviously, like everything, I feel like Super X keeps improving their fit for the most part, at least on the hoodies and the regular like performance shirts, because this just feels nice. Like, it's tight, but not too tight. Like, it's just very form-fitting. It's exactly how, like, it makes you almost feel like you're wearing a spandex suit without wearing spandex, so it's not as embarrassing, but you're like right out of a comic book. Um, the hood still has that signature. It's slightly above the neck, um, so you can kind of get this, like, I don't know, cover your mouth, tuck down, look. I just like it, it looks cool. Um, these are probably my favorite zippers so far. So the fabric um, little tag here within like the metal clasp on it. So they did do a similar thing, but it had rubber with their logo on it as the little tag. Um, and I haven't had it happen to my suit yet, but I feel like it's going to eventually just kind of dry rot and fall off. Um, I really love these drawstrings. Usually that's my biggest gripe with any of the suits, it's just the drawstrings. Um, I don't like dangles, but for some reason on this one, I don't know, they're just like bulky, they're not in the way, they don't seem like they're too long and they're light, so I don't notice that they're even there. And then the next thing is where the drawstrings go in. They've got these nice little square metal cl uh, clasps. So I think that's gonna help with my biggest gripe with them, and that is, even if I'm washing them exactly as instructed, the drawstrings always end up getting ripped out. So half the time I end up just pulling them out anyways. These ones, obviously I haven't washed it. I literally just got it. But I feel like these will probably hold on. I'll still tie them and then toss them in the wash inside out, but I feel like these have a higher chance of survival than any of the drawstrings so far. Then the hood 
is the signature, like it's bigger so that you can be like more mysterious for pictures. But the material's super nice and it's not too, too big. I can still zip it and it doesn't look like it's just like crunched. Drawstring, not zip. Come on, brain. Um, which is nice. So the hoods, uh, I never really wear them. They're nice for pictures or if the rain, but they've always been slightly too big. So I think the hood size on this is just like perfect. Um, in fact, the Murdoch one almost felt more like canvas than the regular material. So this suit, I'm just so impressed with how nice it feels. Like this almost, if you guys um, ever got the the Brock V2, so the one that was the like the pullover hoodie, and everyone was just ranting about how comfortable that felt. Like this feels like that level of comfort, but it's a zip up. So it's fantastic. So last thing is the pockets. So the pockets for the hoodie are actually really low. Um, so they're less like a hoodie pocket like the other ones are, and they're more like what would be regular pants pockets, right? They're all the way down here. So that's a little odd, but it works. It's not uncomfortable. They're out of the way. And some of the Super X suits have had a problem with the hoodie to fit their normal design of like that elongated torso you couldn't get to your pants pockets. Um, and then some of them that they tried to combat that, like the um, McGinnis, where they put a big slit in the side, they made it too big, and so then it kind of like, the front just flopped. But I feel like they've improved that too, because I can reach both of my pockets, and both of these, and everything's still kind of in the same place. So that in itself is a, um, I haven't got to admire the back yet. I did when I pulled it out of the package, but um, if I turn around here, the back stitching is awesome. Plus you've got Super X's logo right here on the back of your neck. So it's just, it's so cool. Um, one of the reasons why I got this late was because looking at the concept design, I was like, hmm, the pants looked really cool. That kind of like, I wanted to buy the pants because I really like the Super X cargo pants, but I've never gotten a pair. Um, so I wanted to get that. And then I started seeing people when they got it, actually putting it on. Real life, this suit looks so much better than it did in the concept art, which most things cannot say that. So this is phenomenal. Um, hoodie knocked out of the park. And I have to say, when I talk about the pants here in a sec, I'm gonna do this, the shirt, and then the pants. Pants are my favorite pants so far that I've had. They're phenomenal. So, the next thing, after the jacket, okay, I can breathe a little bit, is the performance shirt. So, this is, I love this. So, it's short sleeve, kind of like the Origin, but it's got just the normal, like, performance, like the long sleeve cut at the bottom and it's a little bit lighter, like the performance tees are a little bit heavier, they kind of more like a normal t-shirt, whereas this is almost like a rash guard for you uh, grapplers and jiu-jitsu practitioners out there, so it's really nice. Um, you still get this stitching here, makes it feel like armor, really makes your like pecs pop. I don't have a big chest, and this makes it look like my chest is huge, right? So um, that's cool, side profile. You still got the little like pauldrons on your shoulder going on, back stitching, and then like all their performance long sleeves, this performance short sleeve has these pockets right here on the side. Now these are super deep compared to some of them, which is pretty cool because uh, I can fit a lot in here, but I don't have to. Uh, and it is tight enough that if I like am doing jiu-jitsu and I have to tuck this into my shorts or something, these pockets are still right up there, so like mouth guard, phone if I'm just walking around the gym, whatever, I can put it in here from lifting, then phone, wallet, whatever. These are deep enough, they're not gonna fall out. Like, look at this. Look at that, plus it stretches. I can just like, fit half my arm in that. That's insane. That's a utility pocket. 
Okay, and then on to the pants. So the pants, the first thing, drawstring, same string that's on the hood, and the same little square metal clasps that go around it. So I think this, once again, is going to stop the problem that I usually have with the drawstrings. Usually my drawstrings on my older Super X suits, those things are gone. Washer ate them, I got tired of dealing with them and pulled them out, but these look nice, they're not intrusive, and I don't think they're going to just get ripped out. Still good enough. Recommend tying them like I always do for anything with a drawstring and turning it inside out, just as the instructions say so. Yeah. So let me move the camera back just a little bit here so you can see the pants. Okay. So, go <laughs> down a little bit too. So, uh, first thing on the pants, kind of weird, but uh, you'll see this also with the castle, so I think this is just their new thing. Left hand, just a normal pocket. Right hand, zipper pocket. So I've taken the regular pocket that they had on the Brock, and the zipper pocket they have on everything else, and you got one on each side. So at first, I was like, that's weird. I don't like that because it's different. Why would I have one different type of pocket, like keep it the same? But then I realized, well, I can keep my keys and things that I don't want to fall out in here. But then if the other one's also a zipper, that's annoying if I have my phone in there and zipped up. So phone, everything else. And then, of course, we got these nice cargos. We got the Super X logo wow. across it and they zip. So there's no annoying Velcro that's not going to wear out. There's no straps. There's no buckles. It's just a nice cargo pocket with a nice zipper. And you've got that on both sides. The logo's only on the left, but you got a lot of stuff that you can carry, which is usually the bad thing about gym clothes. You don't have a lot of like storage on you. Part of that's because you don't want to, but like now I have the option. So I can also wear this day to day and keep everything on me. Next piece also, we've got the Barton butt flap. This is what I'm gonna be referring to that as now on, since that's the first suit that I got that I saw, that little butt pocket. Um, unlike the Barton, this one actually has a little bit more room in it. So I may actually be able to fit like my wallet or something in here and then it rests just right above my butt cheeks. Uh, so then if I'm sitting down or something, whatever's in my pocket isn't just like, stabbing me, but it's back there, it's safe, it's secure. And then probably my favorite thing about these, besides the fact that that texture is so nice, is they went back to the little drawstring for the ankles versus the uh, zip up. So I really like that one, they feel more comfortable. They don't look as sleek sometimes, but they definitely feel more comfortable with the drawstring. And, you know, if miraculously one day my calves ever decide to grow, well, now I've got the space to do it, whereas the zip-ups, I just have the zip, right? It's only when it's closed or when it's open. When it's open, it doesn't look good, whereas this has, I can make it as tight or as loose as I want. So, awesome, really cool suit, love it, especially with the weather right now. This shirt's getting worn a lot. Cool nights, these pants are getting worn a lot. Now let's move on to the castle. All right, so now we have the castle. Super X's first suit like made for the summer. So one thing, this thing is extremely comfortable. Like beating the heat, it's gonna look crisp and, yeah, crisp and comfortable. Can't really beat that. Um, so the first thing is, out of this suit, oddly, these shorts are my favorite thing about it. I was expecting to like the top more than the shorts. I expected to just kind of be like meh with the shorts, but um, I don't want to say like it's meh for the top. It's just the top didn't impress me as much as the shorts. Still love it. Definitely, as soon as Super X starts pumping out even more, these summer suits, boom. 
get in my closet. So the castle, the shirt is made similar to the performance long sleeves and the fact that it's got the side pockets. However, these are much smaller. I can only fit my hands in these and it's stretchy. So the material, similar to the long sleeves, similar to that performance short sleeve, but it's not as form fitting. Now, I think that may be an intentional choice. I think it's because the baggy, more airflow, it's made for hot weather. But with the bagginess, they still made it the same length on the torso. So with the other suits, the elongated torso with the form fitting like really helps it extenuate the physique. Um, but if you're making a baggy summer clothes and then you're just also making them long, like it's a little bit too baggy. Like I almost want to get an extra small. I already wear a small. And I still think just the way it's shaped, the extra small would probably still be like a little too baggy for my taste. Um, but the design is awesome and I'm definitely gonna wear it because it's super comfortable. And you can see here, nice, like the, the Punisher skull, even though it's not really there. Um, you know. But you get the zipper pocket too. So not just these, you have one zipper pocket. Um, Maybe one on the other might have been better, but this is still good, right? And the important thing is it's Super X quality material, tank top. It's not the, the origin tank tops that are like the normal gym uh, tank tops. Super comfortable, cool color scheme. Um, and then that's it. I mean, it's hard to do a lot with the tank top. So this is perfect. Design's awesome. My recommendation, either if you want to keep it baggy, maybe a little shorter, like about to the waist or a little bit lower than the waist, or make it tighter, but still with the cutoff. You know, make it have that nice form-fitting feel of the other ones and still be a tank top. Maybe even just make it, uh, you can't really make it thinner because it's already like the performance material. So yeah, either make it form-fitting or keep it baggy, but lower how low down it goes, like raise that up personal preference. Other people may like it, but that's my only break. It's just the fit of it. Besides that, awesome. Awesome design. Back's cool. And it's a Super X tank top. It's awesome. My grapes are purely to help the company do better. It's not an actual complaint. Love this. So next is the shorts. So the shorts have probably my second favorite version of the drawstrings. So these are the same drawstrings that were on the Murdoch joggers, and they've just got that silicone dipped uh, like knot on the end. So, so far on my Murdochs, that has not worn out. It has not weakened, the silicone's still strong, and because it has that knot, they never slide through the holes. Plus, they've got these nice plastic clasps over the holes too. So these drawstrings aren't going anywhere. They're safe, they're secure, they're gonna last a long time. Don't have to worry about that. Next thing, the design on these are simple enough, right? You can tell it was inspired and made to go with this, but honestly, these shorts just look like cool summer shorts that could just exist on their own. You can wear these with anything and they're gonna work. They're black and white, they're neutral colors, they rock, you can wear them with anything. Um, in fact, I think they look super nice with the Black Origin Performance Tees or the Performance Tanks or this. Literally, they're, they're just nice, neutral shorts. Um, but they've got that same pocket thing going on that that Wayne S4 does. So the left one, nice and easy, boom. The right one's the zipper. Hold your stuff, something quick. I didn't point this out on the Wayne, but it was on the Wayne too. They've also got the little clasp here so you can hook your key ring onto it, keep your keys on you, but out of the way. They've got nice cargos. Uh, Super X logo here, zipper, nice space, right? So they're kind of cargo shorts. They're kind of board shorts. They're kind of bike shorts. And they feel like pajamas and microfiber. Like they're super, super nice, super comfortable. Like I love these shorts. And then, they don't have the flap, but they do have the zip. Uh, 
same thing with this one. It's got a deeper part pocket than the Barton, at least it feels like to me. Actually, this one's much deeper. So they made up for these small pockets by taking all the space and putting it in your ass. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so these are awesome, super comfortable, and this is definitely great because I was just getting to the temperature and then moved to a further south state that's even hotter. And I was like, dang it, I can't wear any Super X stuff besides just like the Origin tee over and over and over again. Now I got something else to wear, plus the performance tee from the Wayne. So this should hold me till the summer and I'm keep an eye out. Super X, you better pump out some more summer stuff. I need some warm weather clothes, uh, but also just keep up the good work. Austin, you, your company's doing great, man. You guys want a discount? I'll put a link down in the bottom. Save yourself some money on your next Super X suit. Um, but really, just if you haven't already, go check them out. I promise you won't regret it. Uh, I'm now going to be a lifelong customer. I've already, I guess you can consider a lifelong customer since I started. But you'll fall in love, I promise. And they listen to their community all the time. So if you ever have a gripe with the suit, make a review, post a review on their website, talk to them on the Facebook group, you message Austin on Instagram. They take all critiques seriously and they try to accommodate what's the issues they see over and over again and fix it. What's the suggestions they see over and over again? And then they add that in. So if you see a bunch of people talking about the same thing that you don't like about something, odds are the next suit's gonna fix it. That's just how they work, which is why I love the company. So, all right guys, 